I'm Mary Weinberg. I'm a 2008 Olympic gold medalist, former track diva, turned into professional educator, author, and mom, and of course, wife. I was originally born in Brooklyn, New York. I moved to Cincinnati when I was four years old. So growing up in Golf Manor, also known as G Manor, um, I was this little girl who just enjoyed the neighborhood, enjoyed playing with everyone in the neighborhood. And you know, that was my start. I feel like that was where Mary was kind of made. Um, even though I was kind of shy, didn't really want to get involved in sports, it allowed me to meet other individuals who, of course, encouraged me. All right, so this is where it began, here on Yosemite in Golf Manor. Notice, 6013. I really enjoyed this neighborhood. I enjoyed riding my bike as a little girl up and down the street. My mom instilled so many values. Uh, she was a strict Jamaican. She said, you know what you're gonna do? You're not gonna ever depend on anyone. You have to make sure that whatever you wanna do, you're going to make it happen. So she made sure that I knew that I was going to be independent, and so I thank her for that. She made me into the woman that I am today because I don't depend on anybody. So for me, growing up uh, in my neighborhood, I knew that I was very tall, I knew that I was long, and that I could run, but I didn't really want to pursue sports. Um, I remember in the seventh grade, my best friend invited me out to the track team, and so I'm like, yeah, I'll do it, to be social, make some friends, and in the end, it actually was a blessing for me because that was a start to my track career. So we're here at Wanting Hills High School, home of the Eagles. This is where I went to school from the seventh grade where I was at FE to a 12th grader. I'm graduating in the class of 1998. Um, I'm excited to just be standing on these steps. This is where we would chill before field day. We would eat our lunch out here. This school was definitely an opportunity for me to grow. I came in in the seventh grade. I was like the skinniest, smallest person who actually had complexes with her appearance. I ended up running very well. Uh, not, of course, the best of the best. I was average. I got a scholarship and was able to come to college. I was excited about that. And so in college, I battled with believing in myself. I doubted myself. I didn't think that I had potential. And, you know, I would get out onto the track. I would put on this face to make everyone else think that I could do the things that I thought I could do. This is the UC track, uh, Gettler Stadium. Uh, I guess this is my second home. I trained here religiously, daily, for hours and hours and hours on end. Um, you know, of course, this is where I went to college and, of course, where I trained for um, the Olympics for many years. And I can remember, you know, coming and really putting in some tough workouts. And for me, being the best was just getting out here blood, sweat, tears, no matter what it took, I had to get to my goal. So in the end, I was happy to realize that I could get through those different, you know, ups and downs and push myself to one team my senior year before I graduated. I said, you know what, I want to try to train for the Olympics. Didn't know what it would take, didn't know what I needed. Uh, really, honestly, it was amazing to find out that I even, those words came out of my mouth because again, to be the best of the best and to train for the Olympics, that takes a lot. So, you know, I moved to California. I trained for a year. I failed. I didn't make the 2004 Olympic team. And about five years later, I told myself, I said, you know what? I'm ready to make a change. I'm ready to do something different. I want to be top 10 in the world. I want to win a medal. And um, it happened for me. So I'm happy for that opportunity. And as I'm trying to go global with Mary Weinberg and just here in the city also, really just making sure that people know who I am and know that I'm just not an Olympic gold medalist, that I have so much more to offer, um, both whether it's in speaking engagements, whether it's just being a panelist, whether it's doing TV, whether it's you know just doing anything. So that's my next steps. Uh, to really make sure that Mary Weinberg gets out there and then of course um, motivating people with my book Unwavering Perseverance and just allowing people to see that their dreams can become reality and that they can reach their potential. All right, so this is where it began, Yosemite. <laughs> well, if that's not where it Man. began. Man, <laughs> definitely didn't begin. I don't even know what that is. Okay.